Okay, in this demo I'm going to show how easy it is to write metadata with FME 2012. Again, one of the key things of this demo is to note that I don't have to have much knowledge at all of XML. I simply am going to use a sample as a template and then I have the metadata um, f information coming from another file. In this case it's CSV, but it could be coming from a database, could be coming from anywhere, and I'm simply going to use that to populate this metadata document. Okay, so here we go. So um, here's a file. I'm going to open this with Workbench. This is my metadata source. So this is a simple table view of the data, the metadata. And I'm going to go to text file because I'm going to build my XML document within my workspace. Okay, so we're going to go to output here and we're going to call it... Uh, What's, what's the date today? Feb 15 metadata.xml. We'll call it like that. Save OK. And now check the CSV parameters. Uh, the field names are on the first row. So I simply say file has field names there. I say OK. And now I say OK. And it's going to generate a template for me to get me started. You can see I have the field names here. Now what I want to do is I simply want to put down an XML template. Okay, I connect that there, like that, and um, I always have an XML validator right after, so let's add that now, because um, I want to make sure I'm generating valid XML. Okay, so now we're going to configure the XML templater. What it wants is it wants a um, template where I'm going to do um, publish my data. So, so I'm going to open this file here. Okay, I'm going to open this with my notepad plus plus and I'm going to select all and copy all and then I'm going to simply paste that in my workspace template right here. Okay, and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and replace the values that are there. So you can see I have one sample that everybody says is good and now I'm going to simply use that as my template. Now obviously what you would do is uh, you would go through and replace everything. Many fields would be the same from data set to data set um, if it's coming from one particular organization so you can get all that stuff set up and away you go. In other videos we're going to show um, uh, much more sophisticated things but here we go. So responsible party that's the name Okay, so I'm going to drop this in here like that, and um, I'm going to I'm going to do that. Okay, okay, right there. And um, what's the next one? I want the organization name, so I'm going to put the organization name here like this. Okay, responsible telephone. So here we go response telephone. So all this is doing is taking the values of the attributes and plunking them in the XML. So last but not least, let's grab the abstract. That's good enough for that. So let's grab the ab abstract here. Okay, there it is there. So we're going to grab the abstract and put that here. Okay, and delete all that. And delete that. Okay. And so now I'm done. So now when I run this, um, let's what um, output attribute do I want to put this on? Let's call this um, XML out like that. And now I'm going to validate XML out. Okay, XML out. Okay, and then we would connect that here. Now I need to use the value of XML out as the attribute that I'm going to write. So I go like this. Okay, and now I run this, and uh, that's all there is to it. I'm going to see that I'm going to get all my um, XML, so I'm going to open that, go to metadata output, and Feb15 metadata, that's the one. I open it, and you can see that there they are, JGO Smith, Safe Software, Some Road, Vancouver, okay, Joe.company, and if I look for abstract, and here you're gonna see that's it this data is for demo purposes looking back at this file here um, I'll open the uh, CSV just so we can see that it actually has the values that I wanted okay and you'll see that in fact that's exactly what we had Joe Smith and so that's as easy as it is 
to write metadata with um, FME 2012.